Okay, hello. This is Comet Hunter, and we are playing Tale of a Pale Swordsman, Reaper. Wait, no, no, no. Reaper, Tale of a Pale Swordsman. That sounds better. So, Reaper is this cool game by Hexage. Nice animation, very smooth, awesome music. And uh, there are actually two, two episodes, I think, in the game. Wilderness and Dark Harvest. And Dark Harvest is where most of the flesh is. And wilderness is just like you know here have a have a have a little fun game but um what do i say i have the free version so essentially i don't have anything i'm just gonna play as far as this game allows me i'm gonna comment on how awesome it is and um i actually unfortunately it's not blind i played a bit through wilderness and then i reset it like so so i could play it again for the sake of nelby yeah so without further ado Let's stop admiring the scenery and the music and let's start. Oh, are those lava bouncing down there? Yes, I think so. It's been over a decade since Imperium set foot in the wilderness. Hungry for her wealth of natural resources, the Imperium decided to bring wilderness into the fold, either voluntarily or by force. Oh, you go away. Ruining things, yet the colonization never happened. Proud and averse, wilderling tribes fought back, matching the imperial war machine with fierce sorcery. After years of perpetual war, both sides grew wary. Oh no, no, that thing went away. <laughs> go, go away. No, I must restart. I want to read that. It's been over a decade. Hungry for wealth, yet the colonization. Okay, here. After years of perpetual war, both sides grew weary and exhausted. Conflict turned into a stalemate. Now the Imperials merely defend what little ground they've claimed, while only the most radical of wilderlings continue to fight them. All blissfully unaware of what is to come. In a cave deep within the heart of wilderness, a swordsman awakens. Because everything happens within caves, yeah. Okay, so left and right. You tap on the right zone, you go right, you tap on the left zone, you go left. You tap on the gesture zone, you jump. Or you or you slash and you dash. If you if you do downwards, this is what happens. If you jump and then do downwards, you do that. You slash right and left, you you, you you know go flying. So yeah. Tap to jump, tap again to double jump. Boop. Every Every single object or sprite like this in the game you'll find can be bounced off. And it's especially funny to bounce off the soldiers and the enemies. It's very really odd. Okay. Charge forward. Charge to the enemies on the ground or in the air. Woo! Oh, you can also do this in the air. It's cool. Ooh, random water droplets. Let's see. Auto attacks start automatically whenever there are enemies or pots of gold within reach. Auto attack gives you rage. Rage! Money! 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 Jeez! Money! More money! Oh my god! Stop! Stop running away, you money! Oh! Oh! oh. Ah! There! That's close! Okay! More money. I wonder what these mango shaped things are though. And I still do. Oh, 5 and 25. Okay. Skulls of rage. Auto attack, generate rage. Manual attacks consume rage, which make them more powerful. Yep, and the raid's all up there. What's this? Uppercut. Manual attack that knocks enemy flying. Swipe up to perform uppercut. <gasps> I forgot uppercut. I played the whole game and I forgot uppercut. Oh, uppercut's useful. Just watch this. Boom. Into the depths. And, and those things you see, the blue stuff, can be bounced off. I don't know why he fell in. Or it. Baby yeah, okay. Slam! Strike out with dimensional force. Strike down. Which I was doing just now. Ah! Die. It just gave me one hit. Okay. Oh no! Stop. Okay. Ah! Stop bouncing. Break! Yes! Money. So beautiful. Stomp. Shatter the ground and crush enemies below you. Let me show you. Boom. 
I really like it. Die, die. You know this, these slimy blue things? Later in the game, they're much more powerful. <laughs> Obviously, even after I get a better weapon. Now what? Um, whirlwind, aerial flurry of shashes. Double tap when in the air. Let me show you. I didn't already show you. I think I'll go with auto attack. One funny thing is, most of the stuff here are cute. The enemies. Except the bears. The bears are not cute. Okay. You go stand in the portal and go whizzing away. Ancient cave, dark and cold place buried deep within the mountain. Next. Overgrown trail. Let's travel path to the wilderness. Okay, this is your map. Let's go to the overgrown trail. And old gray. Traveler. What a rare treat it is to find a living soul in these parts. Are you alright? You look, um, pale. <laughs> I'm the pale swordsman, um, what should I say? You look even worse or I'm fine? You look even worse. Yeah, you definitely look even worse. Oh, oh well. Wait, is that a sword? I would feel much safer in the company of a swordsman. My omen isn't far. Would you mind if I joined you for a while? Fine, just don't get my or it'll cost you. Oh, I feel sad for him. Fine, just don't get my way. Travel with old Grace to his hut. Which, which must be here? Yeah, it is here. Grace, humble abode beginning, beginning belonging to an old outcast. He's not? A Razorback. I don't remember what Razorback is. I mean, or... What the? Oh my god. Is that Razorback? Oh, it's a pig. <laughs> ah, I, I fought these pigs a lot. They're, they're very easy. And, and oh, ouch. They can be bounced off. Like, just watch this. Boing. But if you hit them while they're running, that's dangerous. You hit them anywhere while they're running, you're dead. Die already. You can actually do your manual attacks, but they could turn out weak. No, no money. That is so unfair. Okay, victory score plus 86 gold collected. None. Oh, experience again 15. What an awful beast. Razorbacks don't usually attack humans on sight. Something's off somewhere, that's for sure. Ah, I've almost forgotten to thank you properly for your excellent showmanship. I might even hire you again someday. Hire you again. So, something's off somewhere. Yeah, I can see that. A uh, random pale swordsman to awaken. How come I don't have any memory? Okay. So he gives me 300 coins. Is that not enough? That is not enough later in the game. Only later in the game. Later in the game, you do something, they give you 2000. But right now, it's completely fine. Ooh. So now I have two quests. The exclamation marks mark quests. Here and there. Give me a moment, will you? 